Na waziri wa elimu Profesa George Magoha amevitaka vyo vikuu nchini kuzingatia ubora na wadilifu katika elimu ili kuimarisha na kuboresha viwango vya elimu nchini. Akizungumza kwenye uzinduzi wa ripoti kuhusu wanafunzi ambao wanajiunga na vyo vikuu, Profesa Magoha alionya kwamba kutokana na mdororo wa elimu hasa katika vyo vikuu upo uwezekano wa vyo vingi kufungwa mbali na baadhi ya kozi kufutiliwa mbali kutokana na kile ambacho kitaja kuwa masomo yasiyokuwa na maana kwa usta wanchi Vipo vyo vikuu vya umma 32 nchini Kenya. Kisha vipo vyo vingine vingi vya binafsi. Hata hivyo idadi hiyo inazidi kupanda hasa ikizingatiwa kwamba vyo vingine vingi vinazidi kufunguliwa kila kukicha. Na licha idadi hiyo kubwa ya vyo vikuu, upo wasiwasi kwamba viwango vya elimu ya juu nchini Kenya havipo katika viwango vinavyofaa. Waziri wa elimu Profesa George Magoa anasema mchipuko wa mara kwa mara wa vyo vikuu unachangia zaidi kudorora kwa viwango vya elimu. Where we have allowed our intellectual capabilities to go to sleep and they are being driven by other people who in who for themselves you can't blame them because they don't know what a university is. You are the people who know what a university is. And in your honest opinion do you think all those universities claiming to be universities are universities? Lakini shida sio hiyo tu. Vyo vingi vimekuwa vikiajiri wafanyikazi wakiwemo waadhiri pasi na kuzingatia ushauri na maagizo yaliyotolewa na serikali. Athari zake zikiwa gharama kuu ya mishahara na matumizi mengine mengi. The elephant in the house is funding of universities. It is real. It is remaining a continuing challenge and it needs to be addressed and addressed candidly by all concerned. We had very fine universities, about 10 of them, and then there was an uncontrolled proliferation, which is still going on, which has produced some new fine universities, but some that should not even exist there. And then the government policy has been to pull down the ones that were already at an international level and bring them to the same level with all the others. And then we are saying, oh, there's a funding problem. Of course there will be a funding problem. And it will persist. Sasa Professor Magoa anapendekeza mabadiliko katika usimamizi wa elimu ya vyo viku nchini. Anasema ipo haja kupunguza idadi ya vyo viku kwa kuunganisha baadhi ya vyo. Can somebody tell me why we produce 5,000 economists and they can't, and then they go and join a waiting list for jobs? Am I talking to somebody? Why are you creating new programs that are irrelevant to our economy? Why? Why are you so keen on... There are so many programs, I think there are over 100 and something, that no child has, has applied to go to. A sizable number of them are new. Could it be that we have forgotten that we are scholars and we have just become traders? Professor Magoha aliyesema hayo kwenye uzinduzi wa ripoti kuhusu wanafunzi wanaojiunga na vyo vikuu. Kati ya wanafunzi laki sita na 1060 waliofanya mtihani wa KCSE mwaka jana, 1975 walipata alama ya chachanya na zaidi. Hivyo kuatia katika nafasi ya kupata ufadhili wa moja kwa moja kutoka kwa serikali. Wanafunzi 1089986 walipata nafasi za kusomea shahada za degree. Hata hivyo wanafunzi 1269 waliopata alama ya chachanya na zaidi walikataa kujiunga na vyo vikuu na badala yake kujiunga na vyo anwai 